Now here's what Caprice is doing while I've been working um, on my penguin. She's making a little ocean scene and she's got the stencil she cut out here of um, sort of Asian-esque waves and uh, it's very cool. And then here are her fish. The fish are blocking out the areas and then I'll come back afterwards and, and stencil, them and stencil yeah. the details of the fish. Yeah, yeah. Maybe with different colors but maybe with also white. Nice. And I'm nice. using the sponge uh -huh. that's and wet a little bit first. And here she's using Jacquard. No, 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 I'm using the speed ball. The, this the didn't work ball. at all. Oh. It was much too thin for this oh. for material. Okay, speed ball ink. So the thicker ink, which is, as we noticed after I did a stencil with it, we noticed that this is totally block printing ink. But, um, you know, we're just trying it out and seeing. And it seems to be working for you here. Yeah, right? it's really did nice. Did you use any of the... Um, any of the retarder? No. no. I wanted to try it straight without first and it works fine if you're just going to do... Um, and you used a wet sponge, right? And I used a wet sponge okay. so that the, there Let's was a little bit of... Let's see how it dries. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm going to come back with the, the same stencil. Uh-huh. And do it in other places? And it matches. It, it, um, it's created in such a way that that's a repeat pattern. Uh -huh. And I like so how it's going to fit inside yeah. the uh, thing if we don't create it. And the wind blow it up into itself. All stuck up. <laughs> that is the problem when you're working with contact paper. <laughs> outside, when okay. it blows into itself. Yeah, but I like working outside. I do too. It's the yeah. best. All right. And so the adventure continues. Caprice is still working with the white speed ball block printing ink. We're applying it to a different technique. We're sponging on with, um, we've added some extender and you still are using a bit of water, right? Because a wet sponge. The sponge was damp before. Yeah, damp sponge. So, but the nice thing about this ink is it really just doesn't go anywhere except where you place it, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I like. Been very successful so far. And, so, and because of the sponge, some it's going to be uh, lost and found right right which i so, like so it's a nice uh very irregular look, irregular yeah. look and this might actually be good for those japanese uh, prints that i have mm -hmm. so now i think we're we're either deciding we're kind of deciding that speedball is a nice medium for for that which maybe we could try next time mm, interesting so we're done sponging there and we're picking it up these fish are all taped on the back so that they don't pick up. Hopefully, don't mm -hmm. pick up. Do you want me to hold that down? Yeah. Okay, so you can use two hands. Okay, this is fun. I'm having fun. Yes, I'm really excited now about this design. Is, the question is, what are you going to do with this when you're done, sweetie? Uh, oh. Um, I know. It's going to be a... A sleeve of sleeve. A That's what I was or something, thinking. Or, or just a, a for one of your happy coats. Or one of the happy coats that I make. Yeah, Caprice makes happy coats. We'll have to look at that sometime. <laughs> happy coats. H A P I happy. What does happy mean? It's an original Chinese thing. Like most so here Japanese we've gone stuff. a little darker on the sponging, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Well, that was wetter because it was it got wet when yeah. I tried the other ink. And that's okay. It kind of saturated it's the material. What we're doing, right? Mm -hmm. we're just for experimenting. Fun. I love it. With different techniques. I absolutely love it. What a great idea to do this. And you did this all. I mean, you. you I drew, drew this, it, right? I drew this on the um, in Illustrator in Adobe Illustrator. And then brought it into the um, cutter, the mm -hmm. silhouette, mm -hmm. and um, experimented and traced, with try to how yeah. to max them together. Okay, we'll have to kind of look at that technique at some point, sort mm -hmm. of as a little mini tutorial on how to mm -hmm. use the silhouette. Because also now you're able to do it, now you know how to do it directly into the silhouette. Would you be able to do this particular yes. thing? Okay, yes. Okay, that's what we want. Exactly. Awesome. This is what I want. To Very fun. There we go. And here mm -hmm. we go. The third set.
Okay. Nice. I think... Did yeah. you have a fish come out here? Or? Yeah, he just got caught on the oh, thing. He got caught. <laughs> he got caught. That's very attractive. Now, for your sleeve, what you would need to know is how much fabric you're actually going to need. I don't have it. Yeah. My, what I need for my sleeve is 15 by 22, and this is not 15 by 22, so this oh. will probably no, but, be a detail. But you could put the edge of the sleeve, and you can have a solid mm -hmm. fabric. I and think then I'll, have this. I'll, I'll have it like at the edge and oh, the bottom of it. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. around nice. the back. Yeah. Over. I like that. Nice work, Caprice. So now we've... Um, removed the placeholders and we're putting the actual fish in and then here's a little leopard shark down there very cool and some full size fish school o fish where's the leopard shark right down here mm -hmm. it's hiding there's three of them I'm gonna add another oh one. this is kind of like find the fish in the puzzle you exactly. know what I mean very cool I'm gonna put another I like that it's leopard shark